Hello and welcome back to my kitchen for another grab and go kit. Today we are going to be making a grabber arm and learning a little bit um, about a type of um, lift called a ladder lift. So if you got your grab and go kit, you would have received a kit with a whole bunch of popsicle sticks. I think I, you got about 10 and then two half popsicle sticks about that size. So one of these is an extra. Um, so one of, as we're going through everything, you don't have to do everything. You can leave one aside. Um, and just if anything happens, you know, when you break a popsicle stick while doing the craft, you have an extra to use. Um, in the kit also will be a bunch of um, push pins. If you can kind of see that, it's I know it's clear. Um, and a um, hot gun glue stick. Some things that you'll need at home will be a ruler. Oh, you'll also have a, uh, a piece of cardboard. Um, I'll explain what the cardboard's for. So you'll need a ruler at home, um, some tape. Um, I'm, you can use masking tape. I just have some scotch tape here. Um, maybe a utility knife or exacto knife, scissors, or a pair of wire cutters. Wire cutters are really best for what you're going to need them for. Um, scissors will work as well. Uh, you'll, you'll see what that is towards the end. And you'll need a um, and you'll need a pencil as well. Um, so I'm going to change the angle so that you can see what I'm doing, and I'm going to explain to you how to um, mark up and um, connect all these popsicle sticks using the uh, the push pins um, to create your grabber arm. Okay, so you're going to set your piece of cardboard. This is going to be your work surface. Um, the purpose of this is so that you don't damage your table and get in trouble with your parents um, and say, "Hey, the librarian told me to do it," and then you breaks, you know, ruin some antique table or something and your parents are mad at the library. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our popsicle sticks and we're going to make a few marks uh, so that it looks something like, uh, oops, like this. Um, so our first mark is we want to find the middle of the popsicle stick. So fortunately, um, you have these half popsicle stick pieces. So you can simply take this and use this to make your mark. Um, that's what I'm going to do. This is the second one of these that I'm going to make and I didn't really feel like finding the exact center on every single popsicle stick again because it was quite time consuming. But you are welcome to do so. You can simply take a um, take out your ruler and measure from one end to another. Uh, so mine looks to be about five and seven eighths of an inch. So the middle of that would be, what's that, 3 and 15 sixteenths of an inch. So it would be about here if I was trying to go exact, which is about where I made my mark anyways. So I'm, I'm in good shape as it is. Uh, your next mark, you're going to want to mark about um, a half an inch uh, from the ends here. So I'm just going to line up to the edge of the ruler. Now this isn't the most... Um, um, precise measurement to use the edge of a ruler, um, but this doesn't have, to, I mean, it just has to be uh, the, the same spacing for all of them, so I'm not really too worried about it not being exactly a half an inch, it's just so that they're all the same spaced. So I'm going to make that on both ends. So now my, my popsicle stick looks like, uh, looks like this. Oops, so I have three marks, half an inch, center, half an inch here. So now the last mark, we're going to find the middle of the, the popsicle stick and draw a line across. So to do that, we're going to line it up and find and figure out how wide this is. Most of your popsicle sticks like this one are going to be three quarters of an inch. Some of them are a little bit less, I think this one is. So this one's actually a sixteenth of an inch below three quarters of an inch, so that's... Um, uh, what is that, uh, 3, 6, 12, 11 sixteenths of an inch. So this one's 11 sixteenths of an inch. This one's 11 sixteenths of an inch. This one is 3 quarters of an inch. So now to find it, a, a half of that is pretty simple. I'm just going to divide 3 quarters by a half, which just happens to be 3 eighths of an inch. Um, uh, so... For the one that's 11 sixteenths, that's going to be 11 thirty seconds of an inch, which is um, unfortunately not marked on my ruler. My ruler only has sixteenths of an inch, so I know that a thirty second of an inch is going to be right between 
um, three eighths and um, um, three eighths. What is that? Uh, six five sixteenths. So it's going to be right between three eighths and five sixteenths for for the the other one. So this one I'm just going to mark the middle. Um, the middle here, so I'm not going to use, I do want the middle, so I'm not going to use the edge of the ruler because the edge of the ruler isn't going to give, give me an exact measurement. So I'm going to line this up right at one of the um, inch marks and just find 3 eighths of an inch and make my mark and do the same on the other side. Find 3 eighths of an inch, make my mark, and now I'm just going to connect these two lines. to uh, get my bisecting line on my popsicle stick. So now, uh, with my lines, I have three um, intersections. Um, I'm gonna do the same with the, with the, the half, um, half size popsicle sticks, but instead of making all those marks, I really only need to make the one at um, half an inch from the side here, and one in the center. And I remember that this one was what was that, like 11 30 seconds or something? So I need 11 sixteenths of an inch for this. So I'm just gonna go and find, I just know that's be like right below 3 eighths of an inch, so I'm gonna find the 3 eighths mark, which is here. I, it might be hard to see, I don't have the very good zoom on this. I'm just gonna go right in between the two, right there and right here. And I'm gonna make my line. So your um, half popsicle stick should have a bisecting, oh boy, well I have another one in my hand thankfully, we'll have a <laughs> half bisecting line and then one there. So you, you only need to, the, this one point for your half popsicle stick. So now, the reason why we have our cardboard is because we're going to poke holes into these popsicle sticks. Before we do that though, because these popsicle sticks are very thin, um, and it's like very like cheap kind of wood. If we start poking a hole with the, the push pins, it's going to um, split the, the popsicle stick, which is why you need the tape. So I'm gonna, I just start off by adding tape on the ends. You don't have to do this in the middle, just on the ends. So uh, this will help keep your popsicle stick from splitting as you're putting the hole in it. Um, and if it does split, it will help keep your popsicle stick together anyways. So that's why we have the tape. So just tape up your ends. Um, take your push pin and then uh, start pushing through. Um, you're going to need some force. You want to twist it like this and you also want to kind of wiggle it to open up um, as you're going through. And once you've gotten through, if you flip it over, there's, you'll see a small little hole on that side. So just kind of do the same thing on this side. Mostly wiggling, wiggling and pushing. Um, that'll give you um, enough space to get through and then you can simply push your, um, oh I did all that off camera didn't I? Uh, then you can simply push your, um, push your, your pin through. So I'll you know, try to do about here. So on the other side I'm going to push, wiggle, twist and wiggle to help push it through. Once I'm through I'll flip it over, find the hole and wiggle and push again. You don't have to do too much twisting on this side. And once you have that, you can take the hole and push the pops, the, uh, the, the pin through. And then do the same with the middle. Pushing, twisting, wiggling. Pushing, twisting, wiggling. Flip it over. Wiggle and push, wiggle and push, wiggle and push. Flip it over again, put it through, and then push it. Make sure that you don't put your oops, make sure that you don't put your finger over the hole. Um, we're not at the doctor's office, and we don't need to prick ourselves and give blood. Um, so no need for band aids, right? So um, all right. So you're gonna do this with um, what is it? I think the nine popsicle sticks. 
Um, again, you should have one extra, so just leave that to the side. Unless you really enjoyed doing this and you really want to make these marks, you had fun measuring all that out and pushing the holes through, then, you know, um, have fun. Enjoy yourself. Um, if not, you, you can leave that one aside. That one's just in case you do uh, end up breaking a popsicle stick or something. Um, so do that with all of yours, uh, um, and then do the, the same just with the, the one hole in the, the short stick. Um, and set that aside. I did this all ahead of time so you don't have to sit here and watch me do all the popsicle sticks. Um, so I'm gonna so just hit pause on the video and come back uh, when, when you're ready and we'll start assembling our grabber arm. Alright, well welcome back. So now we are going to start to put together our grabber arms. You're gonna need um, your the rest of your push pins and uh, the hot melt glue gun, uh, sticks and your preferably wire cutters or scissors or if you don't have those, an X-Acto knife or utility knife. Um, so what we're gonna do now is take our popsicle sticks. We're gonna take two, two at a time, and we're gonna make an X, putting one over the other. Take a push pin and push it through the middle of the top one, like so. And then we're gonna push that through the bottom one, like so. So that we have this little X. Um, then we're going to take our um, glue stick. We're going to push the glue stick on the back here as hard as we can because this is what's going to keep us A from pricking ourselves when we use this. It's also going to keep the, uh, the, the, the pin attached. And once we have that there, we're going to take our um, wire cutters here. And we're going to cut, try to cut just above where the, um, the end of that pin is. You don't have to go too, too far up. Because um, keep in mind you only have one of these. You should have enough to, 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 to do all of these. But if you go, like, if you give your, if you cut off too much, you might end up coming very close to, uh, to running out. So you want to have an X like that. So you're going to do that with all of your uh, sticks now. Again, set them up, one on top of the other. Push the pin through. Push this through. Take your glue stick and push it over the end. Get it as tight as possible and cut. Just dropping everything today. All right, so keep going along. So when you are done, you should have four X's. Uh, you're going to want to line them up. Um, so that the, the top the top ones are kind of going in the same direction. So you don't want to line these up like this because we're going to connect, we're going to like weave these through. So one's going to go, th this one's going to go over this one, but then this one from the other side is going to go under. You don't want it to end up like this uh, where you have like the two top pieces connecting and the two bottom pieces connecting. So set up all of your pieces so that the top piece is uh, all going in, um, is all uh, parallel to each other. So all my top pieces go this way, all my bottom pieces go that way. Um, so now we're just going to connect by weaving again. So the, the, the bottom edge here, the, the, the bottom end here is going to connect to the top one here. And then the top one from this is going to connect to to this. So I'm going to push this through the top side of this one and then through the bottom. And same thing here. Now I got to make sure that I get the top one on the right side there. So I'm going to push through the top. And then through the bottom. 
and then add my glue sticks. So that I have two pieces that do this and then just keep going through so again one through the top on this side and then connect that to the bottom and then the top on this side through to the bottom again make sure that your fingers are not over these holes. Uh, you do not want to prick yourself. So now we have our four X's and we're just going to practice here. We're going to take one end and we're going to move them. I'm, I'm opening and closing. Close to open. And you see that the, the arm goes forward and back. If your arm isn't doing that, it's likely. See how all the, the top ones are all in the same direction, how I set it up. It's nicely kind of weaved together. There might You may have uh, missed one of these and put like a bottom over the top instead so it's not really uh, moving smoothly. So just check all of your pieces if it's not moving. If it is moving smoothly, then you can go on to the, the final step here. So the last thing we're gonna do is take our two half pieces. So you can see this, if, we, if I tried to grab something with this, it's probably not gonna work out, right? Because the end is just kind of gonna go going to do like that. It's not really grabbing. So I'm going to take these two bottom pieces and I'm going to add these to the end to make uh, kind of like fingers at the very end here. So using the same technique, um, the over under technique, I'm going to add two more push pins. I just pricked myself. I'm telling you all not to prick yourselves and I just went and pricked myself but didn't, didn't break skin so that's good. So don't be like me, be careful. And so this is it. So now at this point you can go ahead and start decorating. But um, you can see now as your hand closes, oop, I'm sorry, I'm at a camera shot here. Let's see, as I close, makes a cool little, now I can, now I have like a little grabber. So one thing about these is that these arms are movable. Um, so if you want to, you can play around with it, try a fixed position. Um, you can even try adding something like maybe like a tape or rubber bands to, to add more friction. And I can lift it up. Look at that. So this is a grabber arm. So what this really is in engineering terms is called a ladder lift. So without the two little ends, a ladder lift would work something like this, where it's going to lift up and down. And you can lift very heavy objects uh, using a mechanism just like this. This is how engineers lift things, um, like in factories or, you know, like your, your mechanic might lift something, like for your car. Um, it's called a ladder lift. They even make, um, like... Uh, um, things for like working inside for ceilings it's all the same you might end up seeing something like a similar design and that's all it is I mean granted they're going to use a stronger material than popsicle sticks to lift with but this is the basic um, mechanism for a for a ladder lift so play around with it you can decorate it and personalize it as 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 much as you want to um, and play around with the, the the ends here and see how what you can do to make them um, stronger or um, make them better to grab with. I hope you had fun making our little grabber um, slash ladder lift. 
uh, please um, take photos or a video or something and share it with us. We'd love to see what you all have been uh, making with these. And I'll see you in another month with a, another Grab and Go kit.